So just the other day, EA started laying down the foundations to their brand new promo Summer Heat. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. We got a couple of brand new loading screens showing the new card design, which I think is the final image here. I'm not entirely sure if there's more to come. Uh, we will find out at 6 p.m. today. Um, but we found ourselves with this uh, loading screen now that's showing a replastered image of the Summer Heat uh, paint splatter over the new SPC, or the old SPC images, sorry, to make new SPC images. Um, so on the left, you see uh, sort of plastered over the flashback image. Then we have the plastered over uh, footmas image. Then we have plastered over player moments image. Then we have it plastered over the scream or the ultimate scream image, which makes us think that we're going to be getting a promo that is going to be redoing some of our favorite cards throughout the year, which I, I'm not, you know, I'm not unsatisfied with that. I, I'm not unpleased. I think that's actually a good idea. Footwatch spotted on foot. FIFA Utite, um, I think that's how you say it, I, I don't know, um, their Instagram, however, uh, they are known as, as leakers, and they're actually accurate most of the time, they said on their Instagram, still two days until the start of Summer Heat promo, but we already have leaked the first player, it's a 93.8 file and Mendy, available for free via in-game objectives, to get him you'll need to unlock his 85 rated footmas card, also available for free by completing a really easy objective, then you'll use it to complete some challenges and eventually lead up to the final 93 rated Summer Heat Fala Mendy, what do you think? Uh, now, what that makes me think is that they're doing the upgrade system rather like how they did Dan James and Osserman, uh, their uh, future stars, as well as um, as well as well uh, the Norwegian guy, I forget his name, and I feel Odegaard. There you go. My bad. Um, but it makes me think what we're getting is some kind of objective that is exactly like how this was. The, the 75 was really easy to get. Then the 80 was pretty easy to get. The 82 was pretty easy to get. And then the 86 was a little bit easy uh, after getting all the other cards. So I think that they'll probably end up doing something very similar with that. A FIFA YouTuber by the name of Lanigan uh, actually created a nice concept image uh, of what he thinks is going to kind of look like. I would be very happy with his 93 rated Fela Mendy card. That would be absolutely incredible. Um, and I'm hoping that what EA do is just give massive massive boosts to already released cards. Another FIFA user and YouTuber known as Unique Riggers has been posting uh, a bunch of concept designs that subscribers and followers have sent in. For example, the 95 uh, flashback boating looking at is actually a, uh, a redo of, is it the 88 or the 90 flashback? I forget. Um, but there's, there could be a Boateng. We could get a Martinelli, who is a future star. Uh, we could get a Ryan Kent. Uh, we could get a Schweinsteiger. Um, a few others here, for example, Wolcott, Marcelo, Rooney, David Luiz, Cesc Fabregas. Someone actually replied as well with this kind of image, looking at a few different items we could get. Um, I think these are all different sort of uh, footmas, future stars, flashbacks, uh, ultimate screams. Um, and it actually hints at what could be a fantastic promo of redone cards. Now, we're at the point in FIFA, this year we've had so many promos that I feel like EA can't really just come up with a brand new promo and brand new cards because they're going to have to start releasing cards that no one's ever heard of. Like, we're going to have to start getting silver cards and stuff that have insane boosts to compete with the top end cards because most renowned players now have a special card in FIFA. Um, so I like that they're actually going back and reusing other players to make them, uh, way higher rated to kind of fit the curve now and fit how the game is and how good other players are. Um, you know, that Furlan Mendy can compete with team of the season left backs. Um, that Alaba can compete with team of the season center backs. That Arthur can compete with team of the season CDMs or center mids. Um, I think that that will massively massively actually help this promo and i'm actually really excited for it recently we received a 97 flashback oh sorry end of an era david silver and a 96 uh end of an era adarice now the adarice required an 84 84 rate score with the team of the season and uh the david silver required i think it was an 86 and 85 and 84 I know it's 320k, but it's actually a lot cheaper if you have fodder in the club, which most people do at these points with having things from rewards and stuff that they don't use. Um, I did this for liquid coins, I think 10k, and this one I did for totally free in terms of liquid coins, because having, if you have like, I don't know, a 96 Hummels in the club that you don't use, it will literally make it so you're putting 81 and 82 rate plays into this SBC. It makes it a lot cheaper. Um, and I think that, yeah, going down the route, or so it would seem that they're making things for the players. They're, they're making content now for the players. You know, we are in June and we're at the point in FIFA now where nobody is really too bothered about getting a 93 rated Mendy in a pack. We want to be able to grind towards those players. So I think EA are finally realizing that we are, we are towards the end of the game cycle. 
releasing content for the players as opposed to for the payers is actually a really good move. And I know you're probably thinking, Ryan, you spend a lot on FIFA points. What do you mean? Why are you saying that? Um, I know I spend a bunch on FIFA points. Obviously, it's for my job. It's an investment. I don't do it because I enjoy it. I do it because I enjoy making content. Um, I think that we've had so much content this year that has been focused on FIFA points and spending. The main focal point has been on on spending money on the game. I think it's about time that you guys as, as players and, and us as consumers got a promo that was more focused on playing to win as opposed to paying to win. Um, so the upgrade system, I think would be really cool. Uh, we're looking at the awesome upgrades that we got early on in the year for future stars. Uh, we can go have a look at, uh, Odegaard as well, uh, who got an 87 rated card during future stars. I like the idea of upgrades. I've always thought it was a really good concept. And if we get more of that, that would be fantastic. Um, and looking at some of these cards, we could get some really, really good new cards, maybe SBCs or maybe in packs. I'm not entirely sure, but we could get some really cool new cards. And I think if EA do put these in packs, we've got to get a lot of upgrade packs as opposed to um, just having to buy it with FIFA points. We need 81 pluses, 82 pluses, 80 plus player picks, all the all the upgrades you could possibly think of. I think EA put them in the game and just let us go absolutely ham on SBCs. Another concept that Riggers found or put up was um, Firmino getting to a 94 with his ultimate scream again this kind of card would genuinely rival a player like rude hullet you know good pace great physical good defending good shooting stats good dribbling stats and good passing stats with the five star skills now as well it would genuinely rival a bunch of center mids and cdms in the game that maybe have really good offensive stats as well like for example a rude hullet or whoever you want maybe a clarence sadol for something it would rival a lot of amazing icons and that's what we need i think in viva now we need cards like this to rival the top end cards to make it more fun for the people that maybe didn't get as lucky in rewards maybe didn't get as lucky in the guarantee packs that can get top end cards now that would be really cool again just another concept and for the people that completed these spcs it'd be nice if ea say release a, a another flashback rooney that's higher rated it'd be nice if it was cheaper for the people that completed the spc before because i dumped about two hundred thousand coins into that rooney uh and i think i've still got him in the club I, do, I still like him. You know, I don't use him, obviously, because I've got incredible players now. But um, I would like to use this card. And if it was a uh, 100, 200k cheaper with the card that we put in, that'd be pretty cool as well. So I guess with all that being said, I want to kind of pass the question off to you in the comments for you guys to let me know what you think, uh, whether you think or not this is going to be a good promo, where, you know, what you want from the promo. I'd love to hear your comments uh, and hear your opinion, sorry, in the comments down below and just sort of gauge how you guys are feeling. Um, I know that at, right now, FIFA in the summer especially can become quite stale. It can become quite slow. Uh, EA sometimes do slow down on a lot of the promos. And it kind of gets a bit frustrating as a FIFA player because you feel like you've been neglected over the summer, um, especially when the new FIFA comes out and they're trying to make it this big shiny new thing. And it's like, you know, kind of give us something over the summer. But what I will say is in previous years, EA have done Festival of Foot promos over the summer that have been fantastic where they've released all special cards into packs. And it's been a lot of fun for the player. So maybe that's what they're planning on this summer. Uh, just giving back and having a bit of fun with the player. Although I wouldn't necessarily hold hope. And the last thing I want to leave you on is a uh, design made by at MattsDZN on Twitter. Um, just sort of highlighting and showcasing yet again some more plays we could possibly get. Uh, cards I especially want. So if that Footmas Mendy is leaked, that's fantastic. He was my favorite uh, left back in the whole game. And you guys know when I rate your teams, I'm going to be recommending Mendy every single episode. You can guarantee that. <laughs> um... But, I mean, an upgrade on the Bernardo Silva would be pretty cool. Uh, that card, in my opinion, slowly became obsolete with a lot of amazing right, right and left wingers coming out. Um, Shakiri, I think, was way before the curve anyway. That's a card for, like, September, October, realistically, that 84 rate card. So, a big upgrade for that Shakiri would be necessary, in my opinion. Uh, David Luiz would be really cool. That 90 David Luiz card already is an incredible centre-back in the game. Uh, if you ever play against him in Weekend League, he just is so good at tackling. So, a 95 would make it even harder to get past. Lozano, again, I'm not really too bothered about Lozano. Uh, I think it's another card that was quite behind the curve. Um, an 84 rate card, but even, you know, in December, is kind of obsolete and unusable, in my opinion. And Bellerin would be really cool as well. A lot of you guys love doing high bridge with Bellerin to link to that sort of play moment with Ramos um, and then maybe like a Guardiola at CDM. Uh, I see that a lot in our 8 team, so that'd be pretty cool as well. Uh, but yeah, like I said, leave, leave your comments down below. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this promo if you're excited for it. I know I'm definitely excited for it. If EA get this right, this could be one of the best promos of the whole year in my opinion, especially with the focus and the focal point being on SPCs. Hopefully. 
you know, we'll have to see. Um, <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if EA find a way to actually put these in packs. Um, but if the focal point is an SBCs, this could be one of the best promos of the whole year, in my opinion. And I'm really excited for it. So, like I said, let me know down below. Thank you for watching and thank you for the epic support of the channel. If we can hit 500 or over 500 likes in this episode, that'd be absolutely, absolutely fantastic. I can't speak for some reason. I try and go too fast and then my mouth can't catch up. Um, but thank you all for the epic support. Like I said, we hit 143,000 subs the other day. We just hit 30,000 on Twitch and 27,000 on Twitter, which is fantastic as well. So I'm very grateful for all the support there. All links to my socials in the description down below. Go check out Trust Gaming as well. Massive shout out to them. And I'll see you later.